In this section, we will be configuring a REV touch sensor on the expansion hub. We will be using the driver station phone in this demonstration, but please note that you can also create a robot configuration from the robot controller by following the same steps. First, open the driver station app on the driver phone. Wait for the driver station to connect to your robot controller. Open the main menu by pressing the menu button in the top right corner of the app and select the configure robot menu item. This screen will show any saved configuration files you have on your robot. At this point, you can either choose to edit an existing configuration or just create a new one. Since I don't have any configurations, I'll go ahead and create a new one. On this screen, select the expansion hub. If you don't see the expansion hub on this screen, be sure your robot controller is on and connected to a powered expansion hub. Select the expansion hub one more time. For the Rev Touch sensor, we need to configure it as a digital device. On this screen, we need to select the digital port that our touch sensor is plugged into. The digital ports The REV touch sensor is wired to the second port, or as Louis liked to say it, the N plus one port, where N is the first of the two numbers in each group. My sensor is plugged into the zero one port, so we will need to select port one on this screen. Let's create a descriptive name, since this will be how our sensor is referenced in software. Now we can back out of this menu and save the configuration. If you have multiple saved configurations, you may need to activate the configuration you wish to use. After we back out to the main menu, you can now see that there is an active configuration because the battery voltage is being displayed. In this section, we will be configuring a rev color and range sensor on the expansion hub. We'll be using the driver station phone in this demonstration but please note that you can also create a robot configuration from the robot controller by following the same steps. First, open the driver station app on the driver phone. Wait for the driver station to connect to your robot controller. Open the main menu by pressing the menu button in the top right corner of the app and select the configure robot menu item. This screen will show any saved configuration files you have on your robot. At this point, you can either choose to edit an existing configuration or just create a new one. Since I don't have any configurations, I'll go ahead and create a new one. On this screen, select the expansion hub. If you don't see the expansion hub on this screen, be sure your robot controller is on and connected to a powered expansion hub. Select the expansion hub one more time. Next, select the I2C bus that the sensor is plugged into. My color sensor is plugged into port one. On this screen, you will need to add a device. Select the rev color range sensor in the pull down menu. Let's create a descriptive name since this will be how the sensor will be referenced in your code. Now we can back out of this menu and save the configuration. If you have multiple saved configurations, 
you may need to activate the configuration you wish to use. After we back out to the main menu, you can now see that there is an active configuration because the battery voltage is being displayed. In this section, we will be configuring a REV hall sensor on the expansion hub. We'll be using the driver station phone in this demonstration, but please note that you can also create a robot configuration from the robot controller by following the same steps. First, open the driver station app on the driver phone. Wait for the driver station to connect to your robot controller. Open the main menu by pressing the menu button in the top right corner of the app and select the configure robot menu item. This screen will show any saved configuration files you have on your robot. At this point, you can either choose to edit an existing configuration or just create a new one. Since I don't have any configurations, I'll go ahead and create a new one. On this screen, select the expansion hub. If you don't see the expansion hub on this screen, be sure your robot controller is on and connected to a powered expansion hub. Select the expansion hub one more time. On this screen, we need to select the digital port that our sensor is plugged into. The digital ports on the expansion hub are grouped in sets of two, ports 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, 7. The rev hall sensor is wired to the second port or as we like to say it, the N plus one port, where N is the first of the two numbers in each group. My sensor is plugged into port zero one, so we will need to select port one on this screen. Now we can back out of this menu and save the configuration. If you have multiple saved configurations, you may need to activate the configuration you wish to use. Let's create a descriptive name since this will be how the sensor is referenced in your code. If you have multiple saved configurations, you may need to activate the configuration you wish to use. After we back out to the main menu, you can now see that there is an active configuration because the battery voltage is being displayed. In this section, we will be configuring the Internal Inertial Measurement Unit, or IMU, on the Expansion Hub. We'll be using the driver station phone in this demonstration, but please note that you can also create a robot configuration from the robot controller by following the same steps. First, open the driver station app on the driver phone. Wait for the driver station to connect to your robot controller. Open the main menu by pressing the menu button in the top right corner of the app and select the configure robot menu item. This screen will show any saved configuration files you have on your robot. At this point, you can either choose to edit an existing configuration or just create a new one. Since I don't have any configurations, I'll go ahead and create a new one. The internal IMU is hardwired to I2C port 0. Select port 0 on this screen. The IMU should show up by default. However, if needed, you can press the Add button and select 
the Rev Expansion Hub IMU in the pull-down menu. I usually like to rename the default name to something a little more descriptive so that I can easily reference it in my code. Now we can back out of this menu and save the configuration. Let's create a descriptive name since this will be how the sensor is referenced in your code. If you have multiple saved configurations, you may need to activate the configuration you wish to use. After we back out to the main menu, you can now see that there is an active configuration because the battery voltage is being displayed. In this section, we will be configuring a DC motor on the expansion hub. These instructions will work for any of the legal DC motors. We'll be using the driver's station phone in this demonstration, but please note that you can also create a robot configuration from the robot controller by following the same steps. First, open the driver's station app on the driver phone. Wait for the driver station to connect to your robot controller. Open the main menu by pressing the menu button in the top right corner of the app and select the configure robot menu item. This screen will show any saved configuration files you have on your robot. At this point, you can either choose to edit an existing configuration or just create a new one. Since I don't have any configurations, I'll go ahead and create a new one. Next, select the motor's menu item. On this screen, you will need to select the appropriate motor from the pull-down menus under each port that you are using. I am using a RevCore hex motor connected to port zero. Let's create a descriptive name since this will be how the motor will be referenced in your code. Now we can back out of this menu and save the configuration. Let's create a descriptive name since this will be how the sensor is referenced in your code. If you have multiple saved configurations, you may need to activate the configuration you wish to use. After we back out to the main menu, you can now see that there is an active configuration because the battery voltage is being displayed. In this section, we will be configuring a rev potentiometer on the expansion hub. We'll be using the driver's station phone in this demonstration, but please note that you can also create a robot configuration from the robot controller by following the same steps. First, open the driver's station app on the driver phone. Wait for the driver's station to connect to your robot controller. Open the main menu by pressing the menu button in the top right corner of the app and select the configure robot menu item. This screen will show any saved configuration files you have on your robot. At this point, you can either choose to edit an existing configuration or just create a new one. Since I don't have any configurations, I'll go ahead and create a new one. The potentiometer is an analog sensor. So let's select Analog Input Devices from this menu. 
On this screen, we need to select the analog port that our potentiometer is plugged into. The analog ports on the expansion hub are grouped in sets of two, ports 0, 1, and ports 2, 3. The rev potentiometer is wired to the first port, or as we like to say, the N port, where N is the first of the two numbers in each group. My potentiometer is plugged into port 0, 1, so we will need to select port 0 on this screen. Let's create a descriptive name since this will be how the potentiometer will be referenced in your code. If you have multiple saved configurations, you may need to activate the configuration you wish to use. After we back out to the main menu, you can now see that there is an active configuration because the battery voltage is being displayed. In this section, we will be configuring a servo on the expansion hub. We'll be using the driver's station phone in this demonstration but please note that you can also create a robot configuration from the robot controller by following the same steps. First, open the driver station app on the driver phone. Wait for the driver station to connect to your robot controller. Open the main menu by pressing the menu button in the top right corner of the app and select the configure robot menu item. This screen will show any saved configuration files you have on your robot. At this point, you can either choose to edit an existing configuration or just create a new one. Since I don't have any configurations, I'll go ahead and create a new one. Next, select servos from this menu. On this screen, you will need to select the appropriate type of servo from the pull-down menus under each port that you are using. I'm using a standard Rev Smart Robot servo connected to servo port zero. My servo is configured as a standard Angular servo, so I'm going to select the servo from the pull-down menu. Let's create a descriptive name, since this will be how the servo will be referenced in your code. If you have multiple saved configurations, you may need to activate the configuration you wish to use. After we back out to the main menu, you can now see that there is an active configuration because the battery voltage is being displayed.